Good morning, homesteaders. Jessica here from Homestead & Co. Willowberry Homestead & Co. Oh God, you guys, this is my fourth video because either someone's calling me and you can hear it ringing really loud on your end or some alarm is going off and it's cutting my video short. So let me run through this before my phone rings again. Um, I promised my Facebookers and I promised on previous videos that I would attempt um, to do a melt and pour. It's my first time doing melt and pour. Um, I still haven't done the cold process yet just because I'm trying to get some bars under my belt before attempting this seeming simple but isn't um, process. So when I start my cold or um, my my uh, cold process, um, you know, soap bars, I'm going to do the cold process oven process. Um, I think it's cool. I like that it trims down the time from um, six weeks or four to six weeks to two to four weeks. Um, it allows you to get your product out there sooner and just as fabulous. So those little little rectangles back there is from this soap right here, my Moroccan Elephant. Um, I will show you in a minute why I call it the Moroccan Elephant. Um, they are sample slices to take to work today so that people can smell them. Um, I had no leftovers from this bad boy. The cold water salted mariner. Um, he is full-fledged 10-inch um, mold from Brambleberry. This one is a 12-inch tall and skinny mold from Brambleberry. Um, I love that I did not pay attention to the fact that it shrinks and caused a dip because that dip became a swoop and it gave it character, which I'm in love with. The crystals that you see on top are not crystals. They are Himalayan salt coarsely chopped um, from Winco in the bulk section with mica and glitter in a Ziploc bag. Shake very well. And there you have it. There's blue on this one and there's pink on that one. Um, it's not necessarily pink. It's the rose gold mica and white glitter. The white glitter is from TKB Trading. The rose gold mica is from Brambleberry. Um, I want to show you my little sample bar here. So as you can see, I have orange and then there's clear um, melt and pour orange. Then I have this gorgeous green, which is actually a greenish blue. And then I have the little the little specks that you see in it is my um, lavender buds. And there is Himalayan salt, fine Himalayan salt, which is the little pink specks that you see. And then you have a drop swirl. So the base was clear and then literally clear, no color added. And I put Jehovah beads, I put um, Himalayan salt, and I put... Um, lavender buds in the clear mixed it up after melting it down i poured in the lilac and the strawberry inside um fragrance wise and you know poured it in and then i took my white uh shea butter and my oh no it was not shea butter it was my white goat's milk and my white so it was goat's milk and my white um melt and pour block and um, I colored them raspberry mica. I used raspberry mica. I used uh, neon orange from TKB. I used neon green from TKB. And I used vibrant green from Nurture Soaps with, the, you know, the both greens mixed in. And I used a blue. And it gave me this. Um... I, I'm in love with this. This soap is gorgeous and it smells so good. And the next one I'm going to do is going to have citrus, everything citrus with um, lemon uh, shavings in it. It's it's just going to be fantabulous. <laughs> but this one is my um, Salted Mariner Cold Water. I had ordered the sample pack from Brambleberry, the men's fragrance collection, and they have a fragrance called Cold Water, and they have a fragrance called Salted Mariner. When you smell those two fragrances, I swear you feel like you are at a lake. You feel like you are on a yacht. You feel like you are at sea. You can smell the salt. You can smell the water. You can smell the seaweed. 
When I tell you it smells phenomenal, it smells phenomenal. When you mix them together with a little bit of cedarwood fragrance, I swear you feel like you are back in the early 19, late 1800s, and you are on a boat made of cedarwood and, and, and some other stuff. I, I'm telling you, it's awesome. I am a woman, and I want to use this bar. And I am not just saying that. Also. I stamped them with my, ooh, ooh, the light. I st There we go. I stamped them with my Willowberry Homestead & Co. Um, for the Salted Mariner. And for the Moroccan Elephant, Handmade with Love. Only because this stamp is too long this way and too wide this way to fit the entire um, message on there. Which is okay because when I wrap them and I put my sticker on, it will still say Willowberry Homestead and Cup. So here it, it is with the, the stamp Handmade with Love. Look how freaking fabulous that is. And it looks so freaking professional. Ah! And it was my first attempt, you guys. It was my first try. Come on, camera, focus. Oh my God, there it is. I want to take a picture so bad. I want to take a picture. Hold on, you guys. Got it. It's gorgeous. They're all stamped like this. Do you see that though? Let me bring it back. Do you see the bottom? Look at the bottom. Oh my God. That is the Himalayan salt. That is the rosebuds. That is the Jehovah bees or the Jehovah bees beads. Um, okay, I can't say some of these words right. I'm gonna get it y'all. Watch. I'm gonna get it together. But look, I didn't do the edges with my potato pillar to give it that new look or that fresh look just because I like the the jag to it. It's so unrefined and yet professional. Then you have my um, coarse Himalayan salt at the top and it's just beautiful. This soap is so beautiful. Makes you not want to use it, but you do. When you smell it, you're going to want to use it. Believe me. I was playing with it. See, that's also my um, Moroccan elephant, but it's not wide enough. It's falling off the edge and that's the long way because the top of the soap is right there and the bottom of the soap is right there and it's barely fitting and I didn't want to ruin my soap uh, because of that dip in the middle so they're all different you know and then here it did fit and I'm I think I want to use no, not that one no not that one where did it go was it this one yep it was this one so that you guys I just want to make sure you guys can see it see it Willowberry Homestead and Co. I mean that freaking stamper is bees knees. It is bees knees. Oh my god. You guys, you can see my salt at the bottom. I didn't even know that. You can see the little Himalayan salts down here. Let me see focus. Yeah, there you go. You see, I know my table's hella dirty. You got mica everywhere, but I didn't spill it, you guys. It just came off of the spoons when I was scooping. But um yeah, you can see the salts and they're gorgeous. And you can see the black um, oxide and you can see my, uh, there's actually green in here, believe it or not. Um, there's green in the white, but I didn't do a lot of it because I wanted you to see some of that white. So it's green, it's white with a blue base, and then you got the drop swirls in. It was my first time doing a drop swirl. Love the drop swirl. It's so much fun because you don't know what you're going to get when you cut it open. My kids were here because they're late going to school, but my kids were here. And um, every time I cut one, they saw things. In this one, they saw mermaids. Um, in one of these, I think it was like the very first one, which I think is this one. Yeah, it is. Here, I'll show you. In this one, they see mermaids and they see whales. So that big fat part is the head. And then the one in front of it or next to it is the tail because he's doing like a, a flip in the water. I mean, they just, their imagination just ran away with them. And I love that. I'm sorry. It keeps going to this. So let me explain. It is a puzzle of 100 pieces of um, basically uh, macaroons. Um they keep saying colorful candy. It's not candy. It's macaroons. And I want to put it together, glue it together, frame it, and put it on my wall in the new house. And um, I have enough to make one more melt and pour, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take these one pounders, melt them down, color them. I'm not going to fragrance them. I'm just going to color them. And then I'm going to put them in the molds to make in beds for future, uh, sorry, for future, <laughs> future um, soaps. 
uh, when I finally start doing my code process of unprocessed soaps. So I'm going to put you on pause for a second and show you my inspiration for the Moroccan elephant. Okay, we are back. You see this? Adventures are forever. I got it from the dollar store. Do you see the colors of this elephant? The bluish green, the orange, the pink, the, the raspberry, the burgundy, the red, the white, all of those colors are in, allow me to show you, after I move my earrings out the way. <laughs> One second. Okay, now look at my Moroccan elephant again. The orange, the pink, the greens, the white, the swirl, all of those colors are in here. Hence my inspiration. Don't you just love it? Oh, I just love it. I know you guys can't see my face this time in this video, but I'm telling you, I had a blast making this soap. They will be on my Spotify account. I will go ahead and link that account. Enjoy.